how to make a video podcast, especially if you're gonna be making one for your business. This is a really good idea, a very strong idea for a marketing idea for your business. And we'll go over the critical things that you need to consider coming up next. Hi, I'm Nick with AdWise Creative. I've been in audio production and video production for the last 25 years or so. Now, if you're trying to make a video podcast for your business, a couple things you need to go over with immediately. First of all, we're gonna talk about some gear. That's pretty crucial to making a video podcast. Second, how to find some topics, some really good topics that'll bring you in clients. And third, I'll give you a little SEO trick to help you find those topics. That coming up starting now. So you wanna step into the video world, starting a podcast for your business on YouTube. Well, let's get you started with the right gear. A quick overview of the things you're going to need. I do a bunch of deep dives on several other videos that I've done, cover lights, microphones, cameras, stuff like that, lighting techniques. So be sure to check out some of those other videos. But right now for the 30,000 foot view, yeah, you're gonna to need to start with a camera. Something along the lines of, gosh, I don't know, let's say free would be in your pocket. You could possibly start off with your smartphone and then start to work your way up. Just about everything you need is on your smartphone, and I'll touch, the, I'll touch on that as we go. But a really good DSLR, some kind of a, well, something like this as a matter of fact. A great DSLR right here. It's got the camera, the camera body, the lens, good stuff like that. That would be a really good, something like this would be a really good camera for your YouTube. Now this is gonna be a little on the pricey side, so you might wanna work up to it just to make sure that you've got everything you need in place for your channel and that this is gonna be something that you're gonna be, that's going to be sustainable. I'd hate for you to, you know, spend a few thousand dollars on this rig right here and then it turns out you're not gonna be using it. So please, catch it up. Make sure that you've counted the cost before you step into it. Now, some other things to think about are, gosh, I don't know, lighting maybe. Lighting equipment can come from simply as the sun. Stand in front of a window, get outside underneath of a tree. You don't want direct, really sharp light. I would suggest you throw like maybe a, a translucent shower curtain over, over a window or it be in the shade if you're gonna be underneath a tree, but still bright sunny day, but have that shadow over you to soften that light for you. That's free, you can get started this afternoon. Something else you can use is editing software. Well, editing software is probably on your phone. You can get started with videos on your phone with just about everything, including picking up your microphone. Your phone is also going to capture audio. Now, if you wanna get into a microphone setting, ultimately, you would probably want at least two, if not three audio sources. Why? One for a solid audio, two for backups. Because if something's gonna go wrong, it's probably gonna go wrong on the audio end of it for, for whatever reason. I'm not saying that video is immune to it, but it's kind of hard to have three, four, five cameras, but it's, re it's a lot easier to have two or three audio sources just as a backup. And of course, you're gonna need various accessories to go with it. Probably need a tripod for the camera, might need some uh, cables for the microphones. Oh, stands for the lights, stands for the microphones. All that can add up quickly. But like I said, if you play things smart, you could probably get started for free. And as you start making some money in your business with your videos, then you can expand and buy new equipment and new gear. And then as long with the, uh, the software I mentioned earlier, yes, there's probably some built in on your phone and tons of apps that you can download for free. There are some video editing software that's already come preloaded on your machine, whether Mac or PC. It's already there, you could start by using that one. Or there's some really honking professional video programs that actually are free as well. And there are ways to download those guys. Well, I shouldn't say there are ways. That sounds kind of suspicious, doesn't it? You can download them for free. They are free. So please don't take that the wrong way. They are free and you can get started for them, started with them. And chances are they have an upsell or a more advanced version that you would either pay for or subscribe to. But getting started, it's free. So if you're thinking about getting started with a YouTube channel for your business, or even a podcast for your business, or an authority uh, blog for your business, please like and subscribe to the channel. It will help me make more videos like this to get you started very efficiently and inexpensively too. So that's what we do around here, is help you get started, hopefully on a shoestring budget, if not less. We'll get you going. Now, what topics are you going to cover? Very simple. Start with your current customers. 
What are they asking you about? What do they want to know about? You're probably having meetings and phone calls already. You have been for years, right? What did those folks ask you when you first met? There's a good chance that about what everybody asked is about 80% the same. There's probably a little handful of questions that everybody asks that has to do with their personal situation. Okay, fine. But across the board, chances are you're hearing the same questions over and over and over again. Individually, start with them. Those are a great place to start. And then if you want to do a really deep dive and find some really specific stuff to start bringing people in from all over the internet, do some SEO research. Now, a friend of mine invented this technique. His name is Nate Woodbury, and I'll show, you, I'll show you that in just a second. He calls it his leaf strategy. And what you do is you get some SEO software and start finding the questions that people are asking. There are certain ways to trim it down, and there are certain questions you want and certain questions you don't. Some will like make you part of the red ocean, and others will make you the only one in a blue ocean. That's what you want. Those are the questions you're looking for. And I'll show you how to get to them Oh, right now. Like I said, Nate has written a book. It is what I call the book on getting your business on YouTube. A Hero's Guide to Influence on YouTube. Nate has given me several of these copies to get to you. If you just pay shipping, click the link below, get yours, get it registered, and I'll ship one out to you ASAP. It's not cheap, but it's not full price either. So it's a little bit more than shipping, but it's not full price. You are getting it for a song, and this covers everything from the SEO technique all the way to thumbnails, all the way to editing and lighting and cameras and everything that you could possibly imagine that you might need is covered in this book. It is your new YouTube Bible. Get your copy right now by clicking the link below. I'm Nick Natarello with AdWise Creative. Thank you for watching.